Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here. Now spring is finally upon us and in the marketplace there's wonderful green produce, whether that's the delicious asparagus, the sugar snap peas, shelling peas, or one of my favorites, fava beans. But you might be left with the conundrum of what to do with them, how to store them, and how to prepare them. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can do that. I'm gonna start off with the fava bean here today. So when you're buying fava beans in the farmer's market or if they have them at your grocery store, you're looking for a vibrant green color and try to find pods that are unblemished like this one here. All you have to do is start at the stem end and you should be able to break and easily peel back the vein that goes along the side here. If not, you can kind of use your finger to pry open the pod and it should break right on that seam. And here you have the little fava beans. And what we have to do now is we have to blanch the beans to remove this outer waxy shell. So I have a small pot of water here that I'm bringing up to a boil. I'm gonna add a generous pinch of salt and now the fava beans go in. And these will take about 30 seconds to blanch before we can shell them. Fava beans are in season from March to May, so it's a relatively short season. So it's been about 30 seconds and what you can do if you're kind of unsure or new to this process, you can take out one fava bean plunge it into some ice water here to stop the cooking process because you actually are cooking the bean within the shell. Sometimes you might have to give it a little bit of a help by breaking it at one end. You should be able to squeeze the fava bean right out of the shell. And now these are ready to be thrown into your salad, your risotto. You can saute it with some other vegetables for a really nice succotash. Now, other spring produce that we have, I'm sure you've all seen these in the farmer's market or in your supermarket, and that is the sugar snap peas and they're sweet you can add them to salads you can blanch them for stir fries and things like that but you need to remember to remove the fibrous vein that runs along the side of the pea itself starting at the stem end which is here you're going to just break off a little piece of the tip there and peel you should be able to peel the vein away and sometimes you'll get a short piece like this and sometimes you'll get a longer piece and that depends on how fibrous that vein is sugar snap peas they get their name because you should be able to hear a snap when you break them. What you're looking for when you're buying them is having a sugar snap pea that has a very dark, bright green color to it, vibrant, unblemished, like our fava beans. And in a well-sealed plastic bag in your refrigerator, they can last about four to five days. Now, one of my other favorite spring vegetables is asparagus, and we all know asparagus. We see it in the supermarkets, and it's usually held in a trough with some water, and that's what you should do when you purchase your asparagus. Bring it home, trim off the end, and store it in a container of water in your refrigerator. Sometimes you can place a plastic bag over it and that will keep it fresher longer for about a week. Now, when you're ready to prepare your asparagus, all you need to do is find the natural snap in the asparagus, bend the asparagus and it will break naturally at the part where it is tender versus where it is tough. So this tough fibrous end, you can throw this into your compost bin. You can even use it in a stock of some sort if that would lend flavor, but it's really too fibrous to eat. Each spear will probably be slightly different. I would encourage you to go through the entire pound that you have and snap each one. You can see these two snapped in very different places. Same idea here, you're looking for asparagus with a dark, vibrant green color to it, but you really wanna make sure that the tip of the asparagus is tight. It's not unfurling, because that means that the plant is going to flower. So that's asparagus. Now, shelling peas. Again, same concept. You're looking for a dark green, vibrant color. Shelling peas usually do have some sort of blemish to them, but try to find ones that don't. And you really want to find shelling peas that are medium in size. Oftentimes you'll see big, big guys in the supermarket or at the farmer's market. And if you do purchase those big shelling peas, in the end, the peas within the shell will be starchy and not sweet. Give it a little bit of a twist and you should be able to pull the vein all the way down the side of the pea and usually it will open up for you, but if not, you can give the pea a little bit of a press and it will split along its seam. Peas are naturally sweet, but as they age, all of that sugar converts into starch. And so 
what you're really looking for are freshly picked peas and you wanna make sure that you do not shell your peas until you're ready to use them. And you should blanch them, of course, or you could put them into soups or stews. You need to cook them so that that chalky interior converts into something that's really nice and soft and delicious. There you have it, the basic spring vegetable 101. I hope I've encouraged you to play around with the spring vegetables, go to your farmer's market, go to your supermarket, and start shopping today. Enjoy.